to it is match point for Jocko who just defeated Clock on Furious Heights and we are off on Clock to start with as he picks up that red, the rail gun. And this is a map which actually experiences the most rail play I think of the maps in the pool right now. Yeah, yeah quite right. And Clock's managed to get himself that a triad of weaponry now. So he should be looking good for a fight. Will be slightly outstacked, but it might not have too big of an impact. He's looking over this red. Let's uh, see, Jocko firing lots of spammer. There's a 50 health level, but Clock has got great defense, and that is going to secure him this next red armor. Uh, Clock is in great shape here. Jocko is going to get caught with some lightning gun, and wow. he is in a very hard spot now. He tries to escape, and actually he manages to do so. He's actually That's very cypher-esque there, coming back for that damage. Clock's going to be on the Mega Health, but he lost so much to get there. But the thing is, is that it's still okay for Clock because he's able to pick up so much. But I guess uh, this now. next Look red is, is what it's about. He's, 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 oh, Jocko even drops down in front of him. He could have secured that red armor if he wanted to, but he positioned himself in such a defensive way. He was too scared for it. Jocko is seeming, seemingly all over Clock, actually, even though he's kind of coming in from the behind position off of the first minute now on the stags. It seems like Jocko's actually kind of taking advantage of Clock in various ways. Yeah. Nice rail here from Clock, who's got Red and Mega up at the same time. Clock might be able to get Red to see as Jocko made a play for it. Clock again, is he neglecting Red for too long? You can't let him get the jump on him. And there it is, moving back, and now he is fully loaded. To make a play on Jocko, we could be seeing first blood is taking over 90 seconds. The rail not quite going to hit. Looking for another angle, chasing through. We've got a gauntlet out, but finally, Clock breaks the stalemate. Yeah, I can't believe it took so long, actually, yeah, and because uh, Clock was so stacked most of the time. Here we have though the long range rail. Clock will miss that, and if 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 you're in control and you manage to hit those consistently. My god, does the momentum build up on this map. It starts yeah. to get really ridiculous. And Jocko going to get caught in a very bad spot here. He does manage to actually get out of there. But I think he's, he's just lucky that it's, he's playing his clock and not oh, evil. missing his shots. Jocko's got a chance to do damage, but he misses all his rockets as well. Clock gets the second frag. I, get, I dare say he was quite fortunate to get away so helpfully. Yeah, for certain. And Clock is trying to intercept right now. Is it going to be successful? He does just bounce Jocko helplessly, just straight up there. There's nothing he can do. Goes straight down. That's a 3 to 0 right now. One off the spawn. Even though Jocko does get that yellow, it's all gone after that rail. And Clock is going to be able to apply a lot of pressure after this mega pickup. He gets himself straight over to red. There it is. Oh, Jocko managed to get himself on the way. Let's have a look how the damage goes between the two of them. Clock gets the kill, but he's pretty low after it. He finds Jocko 67 health. A direct rocket could really have a big impact and there's still the lower yellow that I don't think Jocko went for. Yeah, Clock is not in great shape right now. Even though he's four frags ahead, this could be a moment for Jocko to try to push in onto Clock's territory, but he's going to drop for that red armor and Clock has a great position to fall back onto Mega, but how much damage can Jocko do? It's good, 38 points of health, but Clock has this Mega and the yellow is not too far away, so Clock, if he may, remains defensive on this position, sticks, sticks to the higher upper areas here, then he's going to be able to stay alive. He's actually going to retreat all the way around to the LG side, and Jocko could take advantage of this, I think. Yeah, Clock's going to be able to get himself a yellow, but he's barely over starting Zaku with this amount of armor. And Red right over there, I wonder, is Jocko going to just go in there and not really care too much about Clock's traps? He does do that. Clock needs to punish him for this. Find a rail angle, get some spam, but he just can't connect with these slugs. Yeah, he's not connecting, that is for certain, right now, we can see only 41% rail. I mean, 41% is pretty okay, but at the same time, he's had a lot of good shots he could have lined up. and It could easily be 8-0 right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's so true. More. And Jocko, to be honest, is doing a great job at keeping uh, the score so, uh, so, so clean and being only four behind. Now Clock is in a bit of trouble. LG out from Jocko, 64 health remaining for Clock. This is a tough situation, he's managed to work his way out of this before. Jump up, get the 50 health level, looking a bit better now. Yeah, I think this is the kind of situation where Jocko can finally perhaps turn it around. Oh, wow. Great rail there, 28 health left for Clock, he's going to have to pick up those 25s, but that really means that he has to remove his positioning just to get the health. And now that could be the thing that costs him his life, and Jocko turns it around. He manages to get a really clean series of kills, gets the red armor. Now, if um, Jocko versus Clock. We saw Clock had the momentum, the control, the, or the potential of momentum. Now we get to see if Jocko can hit those long-range rails and really just 
turn up the heat, build up the taste. Look at the rotation he's getting as well. He's just taken all of the items. He's got some time to kill, so he might as well kill Clock as well. There it is, good LG initiation. A little bit more to get himself the kill. Clock trying to edge back towards that red armor. Not gonna make it, and now we're at a one frag difference. Jocko finds him at the bottom, but he, know, he knows what's important right now is to get those items and make sure you're keeping solid control. Jocko with a great performance so far. He was patiently awaiting his, his time on toxicity, and his time on toxicity has arrived as he finds Clock once again. But Clock able to deal a lot of damage there, unreturned, and Jocko being made a little bit of the of, of, of a fool, and he has to defend now as he picks up this red. And Clock will disperse. I mean, he's Clock is in yeah. trouble, but he's he's kind of actually doing a good job at the moment. Doing damage. That rail is really important for Jocko. But oh, there we there we are. We were, we were waiting for that. Man, he made it. We've got four minutes left. It's only 4-4. Four, four. This is a very low scoring uh, toxicity game. Jocko getting in position, guarding this red armor. He knows exactly what to do. This might actually break the stalemate. We could see another kill, but he runs wow, out of Wow, he himself. runs out of ammo. Oh dear. And Clock was sub 10 health, roughly over there. Yeah. He, was, he has his horseshoe on, man. He's looking to get away. We've got lower yellow up, so Jocko can edge back and get him an another item if he wants. A rail. Clock is going to be absolutely crippled, looking for a final bit of damage. Red and Mega up in just a second. Jocko needs to clean up in just a second. Otherwise, he's going to have a hard time and possibly miss out on a big item. 200-150, that is, that is quite stacked. Yeah. Clock is going to have a really hard time in any kind of direct confrontation. Yes, avoid it at all costs. 200-200 now for Jocko, as Jocko has the ability to just charge onto Clock. But he's got to be a little bit careful because he doesn't want to lose too much health and armor and the thing is if you're attacking into defensive positions that is exactly what can happen so you gotta be careful but he should just go for it at this point here he is gonna go for it on clock lg versus lg and clock just hasn't the stack to withstand the damage he might not have had the stack but look what he's done to jocko's stack oh, oh that time can't get the aerial rocket and that's gonna be mega for clock jocko settling back getting himself red but again clock wants to tie the game oh up my again. god he's jumping over all of them and clock gets it seriously crippled himself at the end of it yeah i can't believe clock had no right to do that i mean jocko was so stacked in the fight previous and clock just managed to turn it all around somehow with the rockets and jocko now trying to do exactly the same and clock 28 health he's screaming oh. and the rocket connects he sacrificed himself to get the frag and that's gonna be oh my God, with perfect plasma off the red pickup now so seven to six and we have no idea exactly who is gonna win this one it's completely up in the air at this point yeah, it's so there's nothing right separating now. them Jocko making a jump over there for that mega health getting away actually fairly cleanly and he even takes himself a lower yellow gets a red off that's important one more rail here for the kill and to tie it up again He's looking for it, but just not quite able to execute the shot. Taken red, and Clock is behind significantly in stack. We've got 150, 150 for Jocko, and well, sub 100 here for Clock. He needs to get the damage off, 22 health left, and the rocket finally connects. Seven to seven we have. Jocko gonna bounce his way over to that mega health. I don't think he has a direct time on it. That could be very painful if Clock does. Clock raining in the rockets from long range, risking a rail, but he is a brave man. Jocko gonna fall back onto the red. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want the drama of the Mega just yet. And it's a tight game. And I, I really think he has no idea where Mega is I, because he's hanging around this area. He's waiting for the clock to come, but clock has no reason to appear from there. And there you go, clock going on the aggression finds Jocko with some good damage. Jocko now, I mean, he's got to back off and maybe work his positioning around again. But that rail is really nice. Here he goes. He's working his position around back for the red. But Mega spawning soon. If Clock can hold this position for long enough, delay Jocko, he can get a free Mega. It looks like it looks like he, he needs enough. it though. He needs that Mega cleanly, and he's gonna be able to pick it up. Remember, if Clock loses this map, there's a there's a space in the lower bracket with his name on it. So he's got to make sure he wins here. This kid landing good rockets. Jocko having to be careful. Finds him at the bottom, and both of them again exchanging direct shots. Almost another one just scraping past Jocko's ear. And Red is up on the other side. Oh, and the rail oh, is going to connect. Nice one by Jocko. 40 seconds left. And he is almost going to make it. 2-0 is around the corner. Mega up in just three seconds. And Jocko absolutely dying to pick it up, really. There it is. And Clock is going to be having to resort to absolute utter desperation right now. Yep. And rockets like that. Jocko's got the defensive edge on the Clock and the stack edge. The edge in every single 
compartment and right now Jocko is defending on Rage. Clock jumps for that red armor, but how is he gonna even get to Jocko right now? He just can't. I don't know, there's just under 10 seconds left. He's looking for a way, he lands a rail onto him. Jocko's got to be so careful, but he's gonna make it 17 health left and the clock is gone. GG and Jocko takes it eight to seven. Yeah, quick 2-0 there. Furious highest victory, you can see clock wow. there visibly.